Hello, I'm Sarah of Sewing Therapy and this is Sewing School on CBC Life. Today's project is a special one as it's a pattern created by me. This is the Hanbok vest, the Beja. Historically, the Beja was worn over a Hanbok dress to add elegance and formality to a Hanbok or as a practical layer for warmth in colder weather. For this pattern, I have reimagined the traditional beja and simplified its design so that it is more practical for everyday wear. Are you ready to give it a try? Let's get started! Download the free pattern at CBC Life. Details about the pattern such as sizing and fabric requirements can be found on the pattern. When printing, select 100% scale or actual size. To check that the size is correct, check the test square. To attach the pages together, I like to use what I call the cutting corners method for a quicker and easier process. When taping, I use paper wash tape to ensure everything can be added to my paper recycling bin. This pattern was designed with the sizes in layers, so you can select to print your size only when you use an app with that function. Cut two mirrored pieces of the front bodice in the main fabric and two mirrored pieces of the lining fabric. Transfer your notches. Cut one back bodice in the main fabric and one in the lining fabric. Cut four ties. If adding a pocket, cut one piece from the fabric of your choice. Refer to the bias tape measurement chart for the amount of bias tape that you need. Stay stitch all the curved edges in order to hold the shape of the curved edges and prevent distortion. Finish the top edge of your pocket using a serger or zigzag stitch. Fold the top at the notches with the wrong size facing together and press. Top stitch the top edge. There are two ways to finish the pocket with bias binding or by folding the outer edge with the wrong size facing together. Place the pocket on the left front bodies and pin in place. Top stitch the pocket. To make a tie, fold one short end and press. Then fold the long edges to the center and press. Fold the tie in half lengthwise and press. And sew all the folded edges. Place the ties on the notches of the main fabric and baste in place. With right sides together, pin and sew the front and back bodies at the shoulders and sides, making sure your ties are laying flat. Repeat this process for the lining fabric. Open the seam and press so that they are laying flat.
Pin the main fabric and the lining with wrong size facing together, taking care to match the seams. An optional step is to quilt the layers together. This step is practical as the layers will be reinforced together and stylish, giving your beja a unique look. Alternatively, stitch in the ditch at the shoulders and side seams to secure the layers together. Baste the open edges together. Now, it's time for the bias binding. There are several methods for attaching bias binding. Let me show you two techniques and you can choose to use the one you like best. Align the raw edges with the right sides facing together, visually dividing the binding into four sections with Ys and sew all along the first quarter section. Then double fold the bias tape, wrapping the seam, and edge stitch the folded edge of the binding. The next method is the one that I will be using today and is the one most commonly used in quilting. Begin by align the raw edges of the folded bias binding. Visually divide the binding into three sections with the Ys and sew along the first section all the way around. Fold the bias tape over and edge stitch or top stitch the folded edge in place. Starting about 10cm away from the beginning end, start sewing your bias tape. I like to attach the raw edge to the lining so that I can top stitch on the main fabric. When sewing the curves, stretch the bias tape slightly to match the curve. Take care to ensure the ties are not cut in the seam. When you reach the beginning, using your preferred method. Let me show you my favorite method to join bias tape ends. Sew until you meet the starting point. Fold the bias tape over towards the seam and move the beginning edges so that the ends are at the right angles to each other with their right sides together. Sew the seam diagonally from the corner to the initial stitch line. Trim the ends and open the seam and take time to admire the joined bias ends. Wrap the seam by folding over the bias tape and pin in place. Sew along the entire edge and repeat these steps for the armholes. For a neat finish, hide the stitch line slightly with the folded edge and edge stitch slowly, especially around the curves. And now your beja is complete. This pattern is designed as a single length pattern, but I suggest exploring different lengths to achieve varied vibes and style options. I also made a cropped version out of a Sherpa fleece as well as a longer version that is super comfy and warm.
Now that I have walked you through every step of sewing a beja, I hope you are feeling empowered and inspired to create your own. As a Korean Canadian, I cherish this opportunity to create and share a unique blended product of both my cultures with you. Thank you so much for joining me on Sewing School for CBC Life, and I will see you on my next episode. Annyeong!